All right, so you just bought yourself a new LiPo charger and it's DC power, so how are you gonna charge it? What I'm gonna show you how to do is we're gonna convert an old PC power supply. This is a 450 watt power supply used to power our 300 watt LiPo charger. The first thing you need to do is you're gonna want to bridge the gap between this green cable and this black cable. And I have pretty limited knowledge of electronics, but this is a relatively simple process to follow. Um, this, this power supply is expected to be plugged into a PC. It wants to be plugged into a computer. So it's not gonna turn on if these cables aren't connected to anything. You have to trick this power supply by what you're gonna wanna do is just shove a paper clip in here, bridging the gap between this green and black cable. And then plug in your power supply and make sure it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these main leads, find a, a lead that has a yellow and a black wire to it. We're going to clip these two yellow. These are the positive. Clip these two black. That's the negative. And we're going to solder it to this XT60 connector. Clip, clip, wrap these around each other and the black ones are gonna wrap around each other. I've got my soldering iron he heated up already, so I'm gonna dip this in some flux. I definitely am not the best at soldering. And then same thing for these black ones. Put our shrink tube on first. Because once you're soldered to that XT60 connector, you're not gonna be able to uh, shrink tube to it anymore. So let's feed that through. And Feed our yellow through. Our yellow is our positive, our black is our negative. We're gonna throw a bunch of solder in here. All right. So one thing I didn't mention is it's probably a good idea to connect this XT60 to the other side so that the heat can dissipate through something. Move our shrink tube into position, and I don't have a heat gun, so I'm just going to use a lighter to shrink this tube. All right, so remember, we used a paper clip to bridge the gap between this green cable and this black cable. We soldered up the yellow wire to the positive end of the XT60 and the black wire to the negative. And now we're gonna plug it in and see if it works. Perfect. LiPo battery, so charged. LiPo, cell count, 4.2. We have a 4S battery. Current, one amp. Start. 